on him. I think, you know what? Let's talk about Space Jam. Let's do it. Let's do it. Spoiler Welcome alert, to though. The Space Jam. <laughs> spoiler alert. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I, yeah. Spoiler alert yeah. on us, man. Let's talk about it. So let's talk about let's it. Talk about it. <laughs> so let's, let's let's talk about it. So I, everybody here watched it, correct? Yeah. Yes. I watched it the morning it came out. I woke up early before work. And I've watched it already four times total. Holy four. shit. Four. Four times. Jesus. You really do love that man. I and I love Space Jam. I love LeBron too. Like I have to I have to remind you that even though I'm busting your balls over yeah. here about MJ versus LeBron, I really do love LeBron. Yeah, of course, dude. I it's have both just, their jerseys. Yeah. So. I'm warming up to them. Yeah. I don't love so, them. So with Space Jam, <laughs> when the critics came out, I was sitting on the couch and I read it. I was with Allison and I'm like, I'm like, yo, Space Jam got trashed in the premiere. And she's like, really? I'm like, yeah. And I was reading their reviews, and they're saying, like, borderline unwatchable and this, that, and the third. And I'm like, I'm like, what? I'm like, there's no way. I'm like, it's got to be just hate. So long story short, I, I wake up, I watch it, and I actually, like, genuinely love the movie. But to me, you had to watch that movie with an open mind that it was... You can't compare it to the first one. The first one is a legitimate classic movie of all time. And everyone even told you that, and they yeah. still seem like they're and doing that. LeBron said this movie has nothing to do with the first. Zero. They didn't. Yeah. So it was even a totally different uh, which plot. Totally different. So the thing was is that for me, I thought it was a great movie. I thought it had a lot of great messages. Um, I thought they overdid it a little bit with the branding for LeBron, but I can't fault him for that because he's growing his brand. So I get it. Expand on that. Calling him king, his label on everything, on the shot clock, it had LeBron followers. Um, like Lola, like, a, like calling him king, like Lola said, come on, king. And Wasn't then, that his logo on the ball, too? With his son. Right? Yeah, yeah at the it? end, on his son, Dom. Um, so there were just some things like I laughed at, and I'm just like, all right, whatever, man. That's cool. Um... I thought the Michael Jordan part part to me, I thought was brilliant. That was one of yeah. my favorite parts. Yeah. Like I was like, laughing my ass. Yeah, so here's me the funniest too. thing. <laughs> I was not even. When I saw the shoes, yeah. I started laughing. I'm like, wow, this is awesome. They really put him in there. He's gonna give a halftime speech. This is great. And then I'm thinking in my head, I'm like, this now they're gonna say, Oh, LeBron needed a halftime speech to beat the goon squad. <laughs> is it weird that I actually thought it was going to be Michael B. Jordan? So did, I just oh, like no. I thought it okay. was gonna be him. So as soon as I saw Michael B. Jordan, I started cracking up. I'm like, that is awesome. Like so in so like ingenious. It was great. I thought it was awesome because they said like Michael Jordan makes an appearance, but not in a way you suspect, and that was perfect. And um, so I thought that was a troll also to people. Um, but I thought the overall movie was fantastic from a creative standpoint, a family standpoint, and I think the message behind it of listen to your fucking kids was amazing. When the part of him and his son on the court when they had their moment and he was talking to him like, oh, I don't know if I'm doing this right and things like that. Like as a dad now, it made a tear run down my face because like I felt that because it's like, you know, man, like some, some parents don't and they force their kids to do things. How many movies have you seen where you've seen their, their, the dad forcing something on their son? And it's like, you know, like people say like, Oh, what if your son likes soccer? Cause I'm like, I'm not a soccer fan. And I'm like, all right, well I'm gonna have to learn, learn to like soccer and I'm gonna go cheer him on. Yeah. So like, Listen to your kids. Like, I thought it was great because he's a family man. And like I said, as a parent now, man, like, I, that was really touching. And I just, like, I don't understand how somebody watches that movie and puts out those reviews so badly on it. I, like I said, I mean, just everything. Like, when Al G steals his phone and that's how you get the people to the game because he stole the passcode. And I think, like, it showed humility on LeBron's part because he poked fun of himself. Like, when he said, I'm Robin. Uh, yeah, yeah. Then when they were making fun of him about leaving Cleveland, Miami, Cleveland, and then, oh, well, now he's on the Lakers. What do you think he's going to do? So I just think overall, I thought it was a really well put together movie. Now, was LeBron the best actor? No, but that was his first movie taking on a lead role. That isn't easy. Like, he was a little stiff. I mean, there were some parts where he, where he did well, yeah, yeah. but there were also some parts where he I'm laughing exposed, too. You yeah. know? He got but, exposed. <laughs> but there you go. Making yourself vulnerable. Yeah, so I'll, I'll that be was honest. that was my final take. I thought the movie was great, and I think everybody should go see it and apply it to your life if you have kids. Yeah, no, I agree. I loved the movie. I thought it was very creative. Um, I don't understand the hate, to be honest with you. Uh, like you said, you gotta, you know, watch it with an open mind, right? So I just like it because I think it was geared towards kids, and LeBron's always been that way. I mean, he built a school for kids. He's a family-oriented 
guy. And that's what the movie was about, pretty much. It was family. It was kids. It was about happiness. You know, like you, like, you, know, like you said. Um, I, I, I really enjoyed the message in that whole movie and I found a couple, couple nuggets in there. Did you guys notice when he dropped down to uh, the Looney Tunes uni uh, universe that as soon as he hit the ground, the indent was a Nike symbol? Yeah. yeah. I love that. <laughs> yeah. That was creative as shit. And then the, the, uh, the debris that came up was like was it, it formed a, yeah, a, a net and a ball yep. going through. I thought that was super cool. Um, and uh, did you guys notice that um, when they were playing video games in the, the algorithm thing or the, the digital world, they had monitors, which I thought was fucking weird because, like, you're in a digital world. Why the fuck you have monitors? You could watch it. Like, you could play on a fucking massive screen, right? Yeah, that's like, I didn't it, think of that. Like, I thought that I, was, I, like, I think really that weird. I thought that was really weird. Um, and here's another funny part that I really fucking enjoyed because it really tied into, like, LeBron's career, right? Um, Al G said, well, if it isn't the old Looney Tunes just looking as washed up as ever, which me, I took that as the Wash King. Wash King. Yes. <laughs> that, I yeah, thought yeah, that yeah, was yeah. brilliant. I thought that's the, awesome. That I thought that. it was fucking brilliant. And then another thing LeBron said was everything is going to be all right. I promise. Right. And you know what that is, right? His that's band, his school. It's his school. Mm -hmm. Exactly. It's his school. Pro the I promise program right? Yep. at the school. I thought that was awesome. And as you know, as a Belichick guy, I appreciated the. Uh, There's a lot of subtle messages. Yeah, a lot yeah. Of with Al G, you know, rocking the hoodie with the with the with, you know uh, the headset, and just acting like Belichick. And uh, I thought it was brilliant movie. And I found it interesting that LeBron wore number six. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I yeah. feel like he had to do that though because he had to separate himself from yeah. 23. It was really, really weird. And so, but he actually is wearing number six this, this year, this for the Lakers. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm thinking that's why it, it, you know, he wore that. Um, but for me, my perspective on the whole movie was Al G represented the the internet, the evilness of the internet, right? Like, like you said, um, LeBron's followers being on the scoreboard. To me, that's representing everybody watching and critiquing LeBron as he's losing in that game, right? And then, obviously, it changed and stuff like that. But Al G was an evil uh, uh, person in the movie, the villain. And I think he represented the, 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 the internet today, like Twitter and all that stuff. So I, 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 found, I found that like really interesting because it was modern. It was current. And, um, yeah, I just loved it. I thought it was really good, and I really want to watch it again. And you know what, guys? So I approach this differently than you because the original Space Jam, I literally saw it so long ago, I don't remember a damn thing. And I actually, I don't even remember if I watched it in full. I can't believe that. And You're I, the first person I ever heard say I, that. I, I had to have watched it once, at least, in full as a child. And then I saw bits and pieces here and there throughout the years. So I approached this differently. I told you guys I was going to do this. I said, I'm going to watch the new one first. And then I'm going to watch the old one. And I did that, and, well, first of all, anyone that shits on this movie is just a hater. That, that's it. I mean, it was good. It was funny. I was laughing the whole time. I was, I was laughing entertained. the entire time. If you time. have a six- or seven-year-old kid, they love that movie. It's a no-brainer. I mean, just everything. It was so connected to the now and also just the references to the past. Like, even they had some just plenty of scenes where they were referencing the old movie, even though, like, it was a completely standalone movie. It had nothing to do with the first one. There were just uh, a handful of things that I saw that were, were similar. I can't specifically reference it to you because I just haven't seen it enough. But I thought that they were, like, basically even. It's, like, it's pretty obvious that the new one had some better features because it's just that much newer well looking at the graphics from the first oh one, this one it's like night and day oh my god yeah i mean and like i had some very small pointers otherwise like i think very very even like i i would say that mj was better at acting than, than lebron and they both weren't great for the record they, they played their parts but like mj had a little bit of emotion at least like yeah. lebron was just kind of like flat stiff stiff you know, and it's not even a knock on him because some of the, like I said, like the stuff going on around him was really funny. So it didn't matter so much. That's like nitpicking, you know? One thing I loved about this one too, uh, LeBron's, I love that he was animated. Yeah, I did too. I did too. I thought that was awesome that he was animated, dude. One thing I do hate about it, the movie, I'll be honest with you, was the game in the end. 
Like, I didn't like the style points. I want to see a basketball game. So, I'm actually with but you I on get that. it. I get it, because it was a Sons video game. That That's was cool. That's the only reason like, I kind of gave it a pass, because I'm like, ugh. okay, I get it, but I wish it was more of a basketball game. Yeah. Like, I didn't want to see 1,041 one, to 1,039. Exactly. So... I, but like it's hard well, that's because like nitpicking again sun, too, you yeah, know? It's like exactly, they were but, just trying to be modern with the way that they approached the movie. The video like, game aspect of it. Right. And yeah, which, I mean, the one portion when his family and his older son get into uh the Toon World, he says it's Dom's game, do you know how to play it? And LeBron like kind of was like, Yeah, 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 I know how to play it. I thought I'm like, damn, like there's another like he knew in his head, like he had no idea what his son was doing. You could tell by like the look on his face when he's trying to act that way that he didn't know how to play the game. And I also just pointed out to you guys right before the show, like just the the voice the voices were different. Uh the Looney Tune cast in the first one and the second one, the, the voiceovers were different. I thought that the first one were the, the original guys are obviously going to be better than the new guys. That's just the way it is. But yeah. it wasn't so drastic that it ruined the experience for me. Like anyone that's freaking out over this Cry me a fucking river. Like, just keep your mouth shut and stop steering people away from this. This is a great movie for everyone to see, uh, adults and kids alike, honestly. If you're an adult, there were so many ways that you, you could have enjoyed this movie. Just the the NBA references and all that stuff. I thought it was a great, great. follow-up to a classic movie. It was really I, I good. And and how often can you say that when you're comparing yeah. to a classic? Not often. They did as good as that's you possibly pressure. could that's have That's hard, done. Yeah. yeah. Like, that's hard to do. Yeah, so, I just think the overall creativity of the movie was was awesome. Don I think Cheadle it was it awesome. Me. Yeah. Oh, Don Cheadle was like the missing ingredient from the first one. I yeah. mean, I know Danny DeVito did a nice job with the voiceover with the uh, the Monstars boss and all, but like. But he was animated the whole time. He was animated the whole time, and also Don Cheadle, uh, he just he's the perfect fit for that role. Yeah. I'm a big fan of his, but he he was really good, really good. Yeah, I thought I get, I give it a full A plus, man. I thought it was great. I really do. I would give it a, a B plus because I, I didn't like the game. Like, I don't know. The yeah. style points was corny to me, but like, I well, I'm, just going, the point. I'm just going on, on story alone. No, the story was fantastic. Yeah. Creativity like, was fantastic. I ain't even giving it a letter grade. I'm just going to say, go watch this, everyone. Okay. That's it. Yeah. Go watch it. And unfortunately, even though I know we love talking about these 